What if the collapse of the Roman Empire stemmed not only from war, corruption, or economic decline, but also from a sign from the heavens? And if humanity were to witness a similar sign again today, would history be repeating itself according to a familiar but forgotten pattern? Historical records show that throughout human civilization, every major celestial event has often been accompanied by profound changes on Earth. Ancient peoples believed that the appearance of comets was not merely an astronomical phenomenon, but a signal of the end of an era and the beginning of chaos. This belief was once considered superstition. However, what has prompted modern researchers to reconsider this is the increasing amount of scientific data revealing inexplicable coincidences between comet appearances and systematic historical turning points. The issue isn't whether the comet directly destroyed civilizations, but rather how people reacted to these signs from the heavens. Collective psychology, panic, misguided political decisions, and the collapse of social trust may have been triggered by that very fear. The question is, were the ancients simply superstitious, or did they observe cosmic laws that modern science is only just beginning to grasp, and perhaps even deliberately ignoring? Amidst recent astronomical discoveries that continue to fuel debate about objects with unusual orbits and characteristics, the line between ancient myth and modern science seems less clear than we once thought. And it is at this intersection that the greatest concern arises. Could the omens of doom of the past not be entirely products of imagination, but rather a rudimentary human interpretation of phenomena beyond our modern understanding? In ancient Roman historical records, there exist details rarely included in official narratives, yet consistently present in the works of contemporary historians. Pliny the Elder and Cassius Dio both described comet appearances preceding or coinciding with major events in the empire's history. They recorded unusually red skies, streaks of light like flames piercing the night sky, descriptions that modern astronomers consider consistent with the appearance of bright comets visible to the naked eye. Most notably, in 44 BC, a comet appeared shortly after the assassination of Julius Caesar. In the Roman mind, this could not have been a mere coincidence. The comet was quickly interpreted as the deified soul of Caesar, ascending to the heavens to herald a fateful turning point in history. From that point on, Rome entered a prolonged period of instability, where successive civil wars broke out, power crises spread, and the old political order gradually disintegrated. Importantly, there is no historical or scientific evidence to suggest that the comet directly caused casualties or large-scale physical destruction to the empire. However, many modern researchers believe that the comet's true impact lay in the socio-psychological aspect. These signs from the sky, amplified collective fear, shook faith in divine protection and the legitimacy of the ruling class and indirectly influenced political decisions in an already fragile context. When superstition, panic, and power struggles intertwine, social trust begins to crumble from within. Rome, therefore, did not collapse in a single moment, but gradually disintegrated in a prolonged state of anxiety, a process in which the comet, though not the direct cause, became a hauntingly symbolic prelude to the end of a historical cycle. It is from this perspective that many scholars argue that comets in history act as psychological catalysts, appearing at times when civilizations have reached their most vulnerable point. In the modern context, the appearance of Three-Eye Atlas has led many observers to draw parallels with that historical pattern. Like Roman comets, Three-Eye Atlas is not considered a direct physical threat to Earth. However, the appearance of an object with an unusual orbit and characteristics at a time when the world is facing a crisis of faith, social polarization, and global instability has inevitably given rise to comparisons. History shows that humans often do not react to comets with pure reason, but rather by attributing meanings to them that go beyond the scientific nature of the phenomenon. From ancient Rome to the era of Three-Eye Atlas, the common thread lies not in the comets themselves, but in the social conditions at the time of their appearance. Comets don't end empires, but they often appear as the final harbinger, reflecting a civilization on the brink of collapse. And it is this recurring pattern that makes the question more alarming than ever. Is Three-Eye Atlas merely an ordinary astronomical phenomenon exaggerated by modern imagination? 
or is it a mirror of history once again being raised, forcing humanity to confront long-standing rifts? The appearance of 3i Atlas recent discussions have rapidly transcended the realm of astronomy, becoming a global cultural and social phenomenon. More than just a newly discovered comet, 3i Atlas has attracted particular attention due to characteristics that make it difficult to fit into familiar astronomical models. Initial observational data suggests an unusual orbit compared to most comets in the solar system, along with inconsistent light reflectivity, indicating that its surface structure and material composition may differ significantly from what science previously understood. This unusual nature has led to 3i Atlas being viewed not only as an object of study, but also as a symbol, a rare sign, appearing at a time of profound global instability. From there, a series of theories spread, from the possibility that 3i Atlas is an interstellar object passing through our planetary system, to bolder speculations that it could be the remnant of an ancient technology forgotten in the history of the universe. Although these theories lack scientific basis for confirmation, they reflect a familiar human tendency. When faced with phenomena beyond the scope of current understanding, humans often turn to larger frames of reference history, religion, and mythology to explain their meaning. And it is at this point that 3i Atlas began to be placed on par with the celestial signs that appeared in ancient texts. History shows that many phenomena once considered irrational or superstitious were only taken seriously after their consequences became irreversible. It is this gap between incomplete scientific data and the instinctive curiosity of humankind that opened the space for the atlas to be examined through a religious lens. In biblical texts, especially the Book of Revelation and the Gospels, astronomical phenomena are not described using measurement or formulas, but through symbolic imagery to convey warnings. The image of a star falling from the sky, burning like a torch, is a prime example. Wormwood, bitter wormwood, this is the most prominent example of this approach. What makes the Wormwood image special is that the Bible doesn't describe it as a celestial body colliding with and instantly destroying Earth, but rather as an agent that altered the environment, turning water bitter and leading to the indirect deaths of many people. Many modern theological scholars argue that this isn't simply a supernatural story, but perhaps a way for ancient peoples to express a complex natural phenomenon beyond the comprehension of their time. When placed alongside this description in the Three Eye Atlas, the similarity lies not in outward form, but in symbolic role, an object from space appearing as a warning, not a death sentence. Modern science, meanwhile, has gradually revealed the complex nature of comets. Astronomical and space chemistry studies show that comets carry many volatile compounds, such as ammonia, cyanide, heavy metals, and complex organic molecules. Some theories, including panspermia, even suggest that comets may be carriers of biological or prebiological matter in space. In certain scenarios, the interaction between cometary matter and Earth's atmosphere or environment could cause indirect ecological changes, from water pollution to disruptions in biological chains. It is at this intersection that the description of water becoming bitter in Revelation is no longer merely metaphorical, but begins to be seen as an image capable of reflecting real environmental risks. From that perspective, the question of whether 3i Atlas is prophetic in the Bible needs to be understood more cautiously. The Bible does not predict a specific object with a clear name or time, but describes a pattern of phenomena. Signs appearing in the sky during a period when humanity was experiencing a crisis of faith, followed by cascading social and ecological consequences. This is consistent with the words in Luke 21, 11, where the great signs in the sky are juxtaposed with war, plague, and chaos, not as direct causes, but as warnings of a fragile time. In this interpretation, 3i Atlas gradually taking on the appearance of a modern-day messenger, not a supernatural messenger in the purely religious sense, but a cosmic symbol that forces humanity to confront the state of its own civilization. History from ancient Rome to many other civilizations shows that signs from the heavens are often only noticed after social systems have already fractured significantly. And the coincidence of the appearance of the three-eye atlas with today's turbulent global context makes the debate more sensitive than ever. At this intersection, science, religion, and conspiracy theories don't clash directly, but instead revolve around a common question. 
Is the three-eye atlas merely a rare astronomical phenomenon exaggerated by the anxieties of the age? Or is it a symbolic reminder that humanity, like previous civilizations, stands at a historical crossroads where failure to recognize it in time could cost far more than a mere celestial event? In biblical texts, particularly the New Testament, the image of signs in the sky appears as a recurring motif always associated with periods of profound upheaval in human history. Revelation 6.13 speaks of stars falling from the sky to the earth. Luke 21.11 warns of great signs in the sky. And Matthew 24 describes the phenomenon of the sun being darkened and the moon not giving its light. From a modern scientific perspective, these descriptions cannot be interpreted literally as referring to actual stars, but more likely reflect how ancient people perceived unusual cosmic phenomena beyond the comprehension of their time. It is at this point that Three Eye Atlas begins to be placed at the center of the debate. With its unusual orbit and luminosity not quite like typical comets, Three Eye Atlas is considered by some observers to be a modern example of the biblical falling star, not in the precise prophetic sense of a specific object, but as a repetition of a phenomenal pattern. Comets, since ancient times, have always appeared suddenly, shining brightly like torches, then vanished from the sky, exactly as religious texts describe in symbolic language. The controversial question, therefore, is no longer does the Bible mention Three-Eye Atlas, but rather whether the ancient prophets were describing a type of cosmic phenomenon that science is only now beginning to recognize. If falling star is understood to mean comets or interstellar objects, then Three-Eye Atlas, in its current context, becomes a prime example for comparison between science and theology. Some scholars argue that the ancients called comets angels of God, not because they believed them to be supernatural beings, but because they viewed these objects as messengers, signaling impending major changes on Earth. In modern scientific interpretation, Three-Eye Atlas is not considered an omen or messenger, but rather classified as an astronomical object requiring observation due to its research value regarding the origins of the universe and potential risks. However, the coincidence of its discovery during a period when the world was facing war, environmental crises, and social instability has led many to connect it to biblical warnings that signs in the heavens would appear alongside chaos on Earth. This intersection between a real astronomical object and ancient prophecies continues to fuel the haunting question. Is Three-Eye Atlas merely an ordinary comet exaggerated by human imagination, or the most recent modern reminder of warnings recorded thousands of years ago? In Matthew 24, Jesus does not offer a linear prophecy, but rather describes a comprehensive picture of a time of crisis where war, plague, earthquakes, and celestial signs appear simultaneously. It is noteworthy that the Bible does not emphasize what comes first or last, but rather the concurrency of these events, as if they were different symptoms of the same global ailment. This description has led many modern theologians to argue that the end times are not a single event, but a period in which natural, social, and moral systems simultaneously fall into a state of imbalance. When that description is placed in its current context, the similarities become undeniable. The world today is witnessing deepening social polarization, protracted armed conflicts, global pandemics with lasting consequences, and ecological crises and climate change exceeding previous predictions. Simultaneously, the rapid development of technology, particularly artificial intelligence and automated systems, is raising serious questions about human control. Within this multifaceted picture, the appearance of an unusual astronomical object like Atlas III is no longer seen as an isolated phenomenon, but as part of a thought-provoking chain of coincidences. From a scientific perspective, there is no evidence to suggest that comets are the direct cause of wars, epidemics, or social crises. However, psychologists and historians acknowledge that these signs from the heavens can act as powerful psychological catalysts amplifying fear, insecurity, and a sense of loss of control in society. In the Bible, these miraculous signs are not described as instruments of destruction, but as warnings, forcing people to reflect on their own state before crossing a point of no return. Therefore, the core question is not whether the comet, or specifically Atlas III, caused the catastrophe. The question is, when a cosmic sign appears at a time when the world is most vulnerable, how will humanity react? 
Will it be merely an astronomical phenomenon fully explained by science, or a final reminder that crises do not come in isolation but converge, just as Matthew 24 described thousands of years ago? And in that convergence, the comet is not the cause, but a mirror reflecting an era standing at a historical crossroads. The question of whether history is repeating itself has always haunted historians, especially when familiar signs begin to appear in completely different contexts of era and technology. Before its collapse, the Roman Empire experienced a period of deep social polarization, where the ruling class became increasingly alienated from the people, public morality deteriorated, and faith in governing institutions was severely eroded. These cracks did not cause Rome to collapse immediately, but they made the entire system fragile and vulnerable to any shock, whether economic, military, or psychological. Observing the modern world, many researchers have noticed unsettling similarities. A crisis of confidence is unfolding on a global scale, encompassing politics, media, science, and religion. Local wars are erupting repeatedly, while climate change is increasing the frequency and intensity of natural disasters. Simultaneously, the rapid development of artificial intelligence and automation technologies raises the question of whether humanity is creating systems beyond its control. These factors, when combined, create a pervasive sense of instability, similar to the atmosphere historians described of Rome in its final centuries. In this context, the appearance of comets, from ancient records to modern objects like the Three Eye Atlas, is often seen as the final sign of a historical cycle, not because comets directly cause collapse, but because they appear at a time when civilizations are at their most vulnerable. Comets, in this understanding, serve as a cosmic symbol, reflecting the accumulated crises within human society. Therefore, the crucial question is not whether 3 i Atlas or any other comet poses a physical threat to Earth. The real question is, as familiar signs of social, environmental, and technological decline converge once again, is humanity entering the final stage of a historical cycle similar to that of Rome before, or is there still a chance to recognize and break this seemingly cyclical pattern? If the collapse of the Roman Empire was a consequence of ignoring warning signs both from within society and from the heavens above, the question is whether humanity today is treading the same path. History shows that civilizations rarely collapse from a single cause. They disintegrate when crises accumulate sufficiently, while repeated warning signs are ignored or interpreted in the most convenient way. In that context, the Three Eye Atlas might simply be a cosmic rock, a purely astronomical object of study. But it's also undeniable that it appeared at a time when the world was facing a series of systemic instabilities, from crises of confidence and climate change to the development of technologies beyond societal control. This coincidence elevates the Three Eye Atlas beyond the role of a typical scientific phenomenon, becoming a symbol for the larger question of the cyclical rise and fall of civilizations. The Bible, history, and science, though differing in language and methodology, seem to share a common message. The signs do not appear to predict the end of the world, but to force humanity to confront its own state. The comet, in that understanding, is not a cosmic judgment, but a reminder that no empire lasts forever. And when a civilization reaches its peak, that is often the time when it needs to heed warnings the most. Therefore, the final question does not lie with the Three Eye Atlas, nor does it lie in ancient prophecies. The real question lies with modern man. Will we view these signs as mere coincidences, or will we be astute enough to recognize that history, if left ununderstood, tends to repeat itself in the most egregious way? Every civilization in the past has faced similar warnings, and their response to these signs has shaped their own destiny. Therefore, the discussion should not stop at fear or speculation, but should continue with dialogue, debate, and understanding. If you believe that phenomena like the Three Eye Atlas are simply pure science, or conversely, a symbolic reminder of a historical cycle closing, please share your perspective in the comments. Each viewpoint, however different, contributes to clarifying how we perceive the world and humanity's place in the universe. If you are interested in cross-sectional analyses between science, history, and ancient texts, or simply space exploration, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. Following and participating in discussions is not only a way to support the channel, but also a way to collectively ask challenging questions, questions that may help us avoid repeating the mistakes history has witnessed.